welcome back um the hair that i had on her before i didn't like the way it came out so i ripped it all up and i laid, laid down another piece of felt to be um her underlayment the scalp part so i've already done most of this so i'm down to the last little bit and that's usually the problem i'll get inside of my head and then i'll just go crazy with it so what I'm doing is I'm doing coils back and forth. I'm trying to work quickly so this glue won't set up too quick and not burn myself in the meantime. So I'm trying to have this little popsicle stick right here, have it handy. Try to get these little shades of hot glue like right in here and over here, but I'll be able to fix that. So, down to this last little bit. And then I'll take all these little parts and push them towards the back. Usually when you have something like this and you just can't pick it out or anything like that, then you'll just go and either put down some uh, embellishments to cover it up, uh, maybe pull that piece of hair up or cut that hair off, you know, depending upon what you have available for you to use. So, I'm just gonna leave a little spot down again, make sure it's good and secure. And sometimes that's what happens. You'll look at something and you realize you don't like it and you just tear the whole thing up and start over. There's nothing wrong with that. We all do it. Think you got the perfect outfit to wear and you don't like it. But I'm definitely going to put something through here. But as you see, looks like her hair is all coiled up. And at least I made the, the final decision on what I'm going to do with um, what she's going to wear. That took a little bit of finagling and stuff, especially when you collect so many pieces of fabric and uh, clothes that you thought were cute and you couldn't do anything with them. We can always use it for something else. there. And I'll take this one and I will just get this little piece to sit right here. But of course it wants to be difficult. Fight all at once is going in there. Aha. Then I'll come back. Let this sit for a minute. So, this is the fabric that I have chosen. 
you have her shoulder line right there. So since it has a finished bottom, I am going to cut a piece and make that her shoulder strap. Make it big enough. And it gives you one piece that is evenly cut. So, move this out the way for a second. Let's see, I only need about, I don't even need half. So I'll give myself about a quarter of it. And tuck down the end. This part's already folded over. It just needs a little thing to tack it down. This little side right here, do the same. Just enough to tack it down. And now I'm going to fold it over this way and then fold it over that way. So, in order to look like it folded down and without me having to cut, I'm going to go this way. Right here along her chin and her shoulder. Flip it down back there. And then come back. Put my one dot here to make sure it don't move. And then this is her shoulder. And I just want to put one dot there so it doesn't move. And then bring this down here so it'll stay in the place. And then tell you the pants work perfectly. So I'm gonna go along her shoulder. So I gave myself some extra room along here. See, there's a label from the pants. Another spot right here. go up this way. So go along her back. And turn it over. Secure that right there. down here for the shoulder. Um, 
going to be a whole lot. So I will follow this line. so you can get a better look at her. I can pretty much leave it like that. So next up, I'm gonna fix, finish fixing her hair. Get all these little bits down. stubborn. All right, I'm going to clean up these little bits right here. And the last step would be if I wanted to give her a necklace and I put a couple of little things in there as far as stones and stuff like that or some uh, wooden pieces. And after that, she's been, she'll be prepared to go onto the board. Be right back. <laughs> 